Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to configure the backups for the virtual machines running on VMware ASXi host. To configure VMware backup, just open your Vembu BDR server console by clicking the desktop shortcut and log into server by entering the credentials. Now click on backup tab and click VMware vSphere. First we need to add VMware vCenter or the vSphere server that contains the VMs we are planning to backup. Click on add VMware vSphere server and provide the credentials of the host like the host IP address, username and password and then click save. Now this is going to add the VMware host under the list VMware servers. To configure VMware backup for the VMware VMs, click on the backup. Clicking on this checkbox will select all the VMs running on this host for the backup. Or you can also choose the particular VM required for the backup. Also, you have an option to exclude some particular VMs or the disks in the VM using the VMs disk exclusion option. Now once done, click on next. Now this is the application aware settings page. Now this option will allow you to create a consistent backup when all the application writers are stable. The first option here is the require successful application processing. Now by selecting this, the backup process will start only if the writers are successfully processed. And the next option here is ignore application processing failure. And selecting this option will ignore checking the application processings and thus start running the backups. The other option available here is to truncate the transaction logs. By clicking on this checkbox, you will truncate all the transaction logs of the application in order to reduce the storage space. In order to perform application aware processing, you need to provide the login credentials of each VM machine. Now here in the screen, you have to choose the backup schedule. You can configure the hourly, daily or weekly schedules of your choice. Now once done, you can also configure for an additional full backup which is optional. Now this additional full backup will let you take another full backup at regular interval. You can choose the additional full backup schedule as daily, weekly or monthly based on requirements. Now once done, click next to continue. Now here on the screen, you have to configure the retention policy for your backup. If you want, you can click enable and start the process. Now Vembu has two different types of retention policy for the VMware backups. The first is the basic retention and the next is the advanced retention. The basic retention will keep all the daily merged recovery points as per the number of days you have configured for the retention. You can have up to 99 daily merge recovery points using the basic retention. Now the advanced retention has three different kinds of merge options and you can choose any combinations of these three as per your wish. Let me explain. Now choosing this daily merge will merge all the hourly incrementals and create a single daily merge recovery point. And selecting on weekly merge will merge all the daily merges or hourly incrementals to form a single weekly merge recovery point. And similarly, on monthly merge, all the weekly merged or the daily merge recovery points of a particular month will be merged together to form a single monthly merge recovery points. Now once done, the appropriate retention policy for your VMware backup, you can also add or edit the storage repositories if you want. And now click next. Review the configurations of your backup job and enter a name for your backup. Once you have entered all the details, please click on save the backup to start running the backup. After the completion of backup, you can see all your backup jobs by clicking on list all jobs in the backup tab. Now this is done. You have backed up your VM. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you so much.